What's up guys? So today we are back with a brand new video and today guys we are actually starting a brand new series on the channel. Now as you guys know my overrated series just ended because of this whole COVID situation and I can't go see my friend that's in those videos with me. But today we are starting a brand new series on the channel and that is called Internet Idiocy. Internet Idiocy is either going to be a series on my channel where we focus on one person or we talk about a topic in general and we're just going to go in on why it's stupid. It could be a trend. It could be a person. It could be something that's going viral. We're going to go into it. We're going to talk about it. And I just want to say for all of you that don't like edgy or offensive content, you should get off the channel right now because we're probably going to get maybe somewhat offensive in this, but we're definitely going to be a little edgy with what we say. Obviously, censors will be included so YouTube doesn't take the video down. But we're also going to make it very intellectual and talk about the facts and statements in everything. So without any further ado, why don't we get into the first episode of Internet Idiocy? So guys, today what we are going to be talking about is we are going to be talking about Twitch's ban rules. So why are we talking about Twitch's ban rules? Well, let's be honest. It's because of Alinity. A, a new clip went around of Alinity. She she showed her nips or uh, showed one nip on screen. I'm gay. Yeah, what did she also do? She also gave her cat vodka. Mm. Mm. See? Oh yeah, and she also threw her cat behind her while she was playing a video game. Milo! Yeah, so we're talking about, basically, we're not talking about Alinity, but we're talking about Twitch's ban policy and why it isn't fair. So I'm going to pull up on the screen all of Twitch's ban rules in a second, but I have them written down on a piece of paper, so I'm just going to read them for you guys so you guys know exactly what the ban rules are. So in general, Twitch's guidelines and ban rules, it's understandable. It's like every other web platform. It makes sense and it's completely understandable, but let's go into each one and I'm just going to... They give like a long description, but I'm just going to give like a nice little cute summary of basically what it's saying. No breaking laws, no suspension evasion, no self-destructive behavior, no violence or threats, no hateful conduct and harassment, no sharing of private information, no impersonation, no spam, no nudity, porn, or other sexual content, no extreme violence, gore, and other obscene contact, and intellectual property rights, which basically means no copyright. Or we're gonna go back to the no nudity, porn, and sexual content on your stream. Alinity is clearly showing her tit. I'm gay. There is a tit on our screens. There are female boobies on the stream and on our screens right now. So the day it happened was on Sunday. It was last Sunday when it happened, but basically Alinity looked like an idiot on Twitter. She basically said like, Oh, guys, I'm going to ban myself for this because it's unacceptable. And I'm just going to I'm just going to give myself a three day ban. And and she also said, hey, if you guys are upset about this or upset about that, don't be upset at me. D be upset at Twitch. No, 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 no. You're making yourself look like an idiot because there was already a theory that you were sucking off someone who works at Twitch. You definitely are. There's it's just if you're I mean. Like, you're, you're literally, you're, you're literally, you're getting on your knees and you're just, you're turning around and you're just, you're just giving it to him. That's all you're doing. You're just straight up giving it to him. Just, you're, you're, oh, I thought I broke the wall. Now, some people may be like, oh, Dimitri, she got a one day ban, you dumb, what the is wrong with you? Why are you disrespecting our queen like that? She got a ban. She got what she deserved. Yes, she got a one day ban. A one day ban for nudity. What I also have, and I'm going to pull up pictures on the screen, is we're going to go into some other people who showed nudity and got a ban. Amaranth got a three day ban for accidentally showing her privates. Again, three day ban. Bad Bunny got a three day ban for showing the side of her vagina. Again, three day ban. Ali's Prayer indefinitely got banned off of Twitch because of body painting, even though art is completely allowed on Twitch. Idub's girlfriend got a three day ban for showing a naked character in a TV show because she didn't know that was there and got a three day ban. I love how everybody refers to her as Idub's girlfriend, not her real name, because that's all people know her for. Big Cat got suspended for showing tits. His own tits. 
I said his. He got banned for showing male boobies. Like, okay. EE got banned for showing boobs in a video game that he had no control of fixing. Like, okay. Third Impact Carter, he also got banned on Twitch because when he was streaming, he was switching to a different tab on the internet and Twitter was there and whatever picture we was on had a vagina on it and Twitter's NSFW didn't censor that. So he got banned for that. Lucy in Love, she got banned for being attractive. So as you can see, Alinity is getting a special treatment by Twitch. Nothing else. She's getting a special treatment by someone at Twitch who isn't banning her for longer than a day. Sorry if anything Caesar looks any different. I had to take a pause to charge my camera. So this dumbass then goes ahead and posts on Twitter like, Oh my god, I'm so happy we got banned. This is the greatest thing that can happen. We finally did it. No, that's not a good thing. You look like a bigger asshole acting like you wanted a ban. Oh my, you look stupid doing- Stop. No, act like you're sad about getting a ban. You don't want to get banned. She then posts this one tweet saying that like, oh, she's learned from her mistakes and that- and that the future is very bright and we don't know what the future has in store and then puts a picture of her in some, you know, lingerie or whatever it is. I don't even know how to describe it. So all of her simps can rise up and real quick go up to her and say, oh, my queen, you look lovely. This, this is just, this is just ridiculous. And now we have a nice little short and sweet message to Twitch real quick. Just, I, I hope you guys like this. Hey, dumbass. You need to step up your game and be a lot f***ing smarter when you're deciding whether you ban someone or you don't ban someone. F*** you and have a nice day. But anyways, guys, that is the first episode of Internet Idiocy. To give you a taste of how we talk during it, what we discuss, and what we talk about just in general throughout the thing. And if you guys did enjoy it, let me know in the comments down below. And also, guys, if you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. On the video that just lets me know that you guys really did enjoy it don't dislike don't you dare dislike and i'm talking to all of you out there if i see any of you disliking this video there's going to be an internet idiocy video made on you ha, but just comment down below what you didn't like about today's video and i will be sure to fix that for you guys in the next video also guys remember to click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you get a notification on your phone tablet and even laptop every time that we upload a brand new video on the channel but guys Thank you very much for watching the video and thank you guys for the support. Remember to let me know down below what you thought of this video and if you want to see this series continue. But yeah, guys, you know how always we got to wrap this up with a little 360 spin. We got to back up so we don't hit the mic. So we got to hit him up. Yeah.